हेलो 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 एंड नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द रिएक्शन स्टोरी माय नेम इज स्नेहा एंड टुडे आई एम हियर विद अनदर एक्साइटिंग रिएक्शन वीडियो सो इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू रिएक्ट ऑन डेव एलन टीचिंग योर किड टाइम वेल दिस इज माय फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम मेकिंग अ रिएक्शन वीडियो ऑन हिज कॉमेडी स्टाइल वीडियोज सो आई एम रियली वेरी एक्साइटेड बिफोर मेकिंग दिस वीडियो आई हैव जस्ट रीड read about him that he is an irish comedian and actor and he is well known for his observational comedy and initially known in australia uh, he is a very famous television actor in uk and his television shows are famous in canada new zealand australia sweden denmark so basically he is famous in all uh, european countries and in all other countries so so i am really really very excited for this uh, video because uh, you know i have uh, done a uh, lots of uh, stand up comedy reaction videos and i enjoyed them very much so this is my first time i am going to watch dave allen video so let's watch this video first and then we talk about this video so without wasting any time let's get into this video important things we as parents do is we teach our children about time yes we teach them important things like reading the clock You actually think that's important? Yes. I'm going to teach you to read the clock. Hmm? I'm going to teach you to read the time. <laughs> Why? Because it's important that you know the time. Why? Why? Because how would you know when to get up to go to school? <laughs> M- mummy would make me. <laughs> <laughs> What if mummy wasn't there? You'd wake me. You'd wake me. What if we both weren't there? When you go to school. <laughs> <laughs> That's true actually. How do you know when breakfast was? I'd be hungry. Shut up. <laughs> Somebody came along to you and said, "What time is it?" and you didn't know, you'd feel stupid. Yes. Why doesn't he feel stupid? He doesn't know. Oh my god. Let me go through this whole thing. Can I teach you? I did it myself. With my son. Can I teach you how to read the clock. This is a clock. It's not actually a clock. It is a clock, but it's not a clock. It's a watch. What? It's called a watch. It's a wrist watch because oh. it's on my wrist. <laughs> yes, it's a wrist watch. It's on my wrist. Oh my I'm god, this yes. is so irritating to tell <laughs> Now, every detail. This time is made up of zones. Periods of time, zones. all right? There's there's hours and minute. No, not hours. No, they're not hours. <laughs> they're hours. Hours. They don't belong to us. It's a different spelling. H O U R S. Not Howards. <laughs> It's silent. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It's silent. <laughs> Now on every day there are 24 hours. 24 of these hours. 12 in the day and 12 in the night. I know I said there are 24 hours in a day. 12 in the day, 12 in the night. <laughs> But a day oh is made God. up of a day and a night. What are you stupid? <laughs> I couldn't very well say Monday Monday night. Everybody knows when I say Monday I'm talking about the 24 hours. Okay. Now shut up and listen. Oh my god. Now, on every clock or watch, there are three pointers. They're called hands, all right? They point to the hour, all right? You understand that? There's the hour hand. That's the first hand. The hour hand. The second hand is the minute hand, and the third hand is the second. Hour oh, and seconds. Okay. Shut up. We'll do away. Forget about the third hand. Forget it. Forget it. It's gone. All right. Gone. <laughs> It's gone. I have two hands. <laughs> On the face of the clock there are two hands all right there's the hour hand which is the fat hand and there's the thin hand which is the minute hand so you have a fat hand and a thin hand all right fat hand hours thin hand minutes right now okay. on the top okay uh, here i want to take a pause because uh, i will uh, you know i'm definitely uh, 
relate with this point because when i uh, you know i'm becoming a mother and i'm going to teach my son when he is in his uh, you know pre nursery and i'm uh, you know started telling about uh, watch and clock and time zone it is really very irritating because there are you know very small uh, specific points you have to tell a kid uh, before you know reading a clock and sometimes i am becoming confused that oh my god how much seconds in a hour and how much uh, hour in a day and how much you know day in a year it's like a lot of small questions and uh, I'm, sometimes i am getting irritating okay if you really want to know time i will tell you what is the time <laughs> don't don't uh, you know uh, don't become so stressful it is really actually very stressful and the way he is teaching uh, to the kid is very similar the way i am teaching my kid because i am also getting frustrated about these all small specific basic questions <laughs> so yes it is really very difficult one, sometimes you see the number up there 1 and 2 1 and 2 is 12 what <laughs> it's not 3 <laughs> oh really man <laughs> It would be three if you joined them together. We already have a three here on the side by itself. We don't need two bloody threes on a clock. Oh, really? So it's twelve. All right. All right. One and two is twelve. So when the fat hand and the thin hand are pointing at the one and the two, it is twelve o'clock. Twelve. In the daytime. Oh, in the daytime. Because it would be dark and you wouldn't be able to see it. Oh, <laughs> it's too dark. starts to move away from the fat hand it likes the fat hand yes it likes the fat it hand likes. but if it wants to tell the time it has to go away from the fat hand so it moves away from the fat hand leaving the fat hand at the one and the two and then it comes over to the one here by itself you see the one to the right of the one and the two now that one is 5 that one is 5 yes <laughs> because it is it's 5 Two is ten. Three is fifteen. Four is twenty. Five is twenty-five. Six is a half. <laughs> yes. <laughs> half. Because twelve is the whole, so six is the half. Seven is twenty-five two or thirty-five past. <laughs> so now, what's actually happening is a thin hand is moving around the clock. from the 1 to the 2 which is the 5 and the 10 and while he's doing that the fat hand is moving slowly away from the 1 and the 2 yes because fat hands move slowly that's right fat things waddle away yes that's it <laughs> and now by the time the fat hand has got around to the 1 which was the 5 when the minute hand was pointing at it and the 1 has come back right up to the 1 and the 2 it is now what time It is not five o'clock. <laughs> it's one o'clock. Oh Because when the thin hand points at it, it's minutes. The fat hand points at it, it's an hour. <laughs> Now you be a good boy and learn how to read the clock. And I'll buy you a digital watch. And I am not a digital watch. Okay. <laughs> actually telling the solution of this problem that stop you know a learning time and bought a new digital watch i think my son going uh, you know <laughs> so happy to watch this video i'm definitely i uh, you know watch this video again with my son because i right now i am feeling very nostalgic because when i you know started this believe me it is as difficult as he is presenting because there is lots of uh, you know some small small things to tell about the time how many is, is just about the uh, i really like that punch that uh, you know uh, there is a big uh, you know first hand which is our hand and the second hand which is a minute hand and the third hand which is second hands and for while a minute i am also getting confused no 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 there is not a third hand no it is actually second hand 
and not second hand oh my god this actually lots of confusion how can a parent teach a son because they were also confused oh my god hats off to all the teachers that how they handled kid in the school i can understand now i'm also a teacher uh, you know in my teenage i'm also uh, you know uh, doing a job in a preschool uh, but thankfully in a preschool we have not worried about to telling the time to the kids we just you know uh, enjoy with the kid and doing some playing and you know other stuff we not getting this much of pressure to telling these basic uh, specific points so i can now Now understand how difficult is for the school teachers, but I really enjoy and I can relate myself the way he is telling uh, the kid because this is the same way. Sometimes I am getting frustrated. I really hate math. Really, I just really hate math. Uh, I wish that uh, you know, uh, like this, he is uh, you know giving the solution of the problem of uh, you know teaching the time. Uh, it is very easy that just buy a digital watch. Oh God, please give some solution that if you not uh, you know getting the solution of other mathematics uh, problem, uh, then. please give some solution for that also oh my god i really really enjoy it. the way he tell is hilarious like he is definitely a comedy genius definitely i really like the style of his and i now i get to know that why he is famous for his observational comedy because he really observe the mental situation of a kid very very well so i really like uh, the all style of dave allen and i am really going to watch this video again with my son and uh, watching uh, that what is his reaction because he is also getting frustrated when i you know telling him and want to uh, teach him uh, something very Uh, mixed of confusion so i really enjoy that video and i uh, and i hope yeah, that you guys also enjoy this reaction video with me and if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to uh, leave a beautiful comment and give me your views your thought as a parent that how is your experience when you tell your kids uh, uh, you teach your kids about time uh, share your experience in the comment section below i will definitely read all your comments so thank you for watching till then be happy stay cool and don't forget to subscribe good bye